Hello at Excel students, we're looking at the 10 mark assess question. This question will only come in paper 1 and in paper 2. It's a very, very simple question. It's a KAA question with evaluation broken down 2, 2, 2 and 4 here. So the main difference, the only difference between this question and the 8 mark exam in question in paper 1 and paper 2 is the depth of evaluation that you need. A very simple question, it's not there to confuse you or to make you write loads, simply 10 minutes to make sure that you get this right in uh, section B of paper 1 and in paper 2. Alright, so we need two KA points and two evaluation points, simple as that. So we're looking for two points, one explained and evaluating each point, so two good paragraphs here and you'll be absolutely fine. How do you make sure that you get the full marks? Well, for knowledge, you've got to make sure that you identify two factors or two reasons. It should be very simple to do that if that's what the question is asking for. If not, then another simple way of getting your knowledge marks is definitions. Uh, for application, use the extract material. It's there for you to quote something from or to use something from the extract material. But just make sure, guys, that whatever you use from the extract has got to actually explicitly back up the point that you're trying to make. Then you get the application marks. For analysis, it's only two marks for analysis. You've got to make sure that your chains of analysis are done well, that everything uh, in terms of theory is explained in a methodical way, in a logical way. Nothing is missing in your link here. And then you get the marks for analysis. So just explain everything in depth, not missing anything in a, in a key chain and you'll get your marks. There might be a diagram for you to use, in which case, brilliant, that can help you gain some analysis marks as long as the diagram is drawn correctly, as long as uh, you refer to the diagram as well. Then you get the analysis marks there. But now there are four marks available for evaluation. So for each KAA point that you make, you're looking to evaluate that point. So you make an evaluation point, but you need to explain it in a bit more depth here to get the second mark for each evaluation point that you're making. Also look to find something in the extract material to back up your evaluation point. That's another way to safeguard yourself and to make sure you get two marks for each evaluation point that you make, and that's four marks in total. So a very simple question, very similar to the eight mark exam in question, just a little bit more depth needed in your evaluation and you get the full 10 marks here. Absolute gift. Thank you for watching guys, I'll see you all in the next video.